Hello all and welcome to the Shock Pow Wow! Where I'll sit and have a brew with you on this lovely sunny night we have. So this whole powwow thing is uh, coming now based out of pure anger. I have a lot to talk about. There's so much topics to talk about, but I'm only going to talk about one. It's just, it's been on my mind all day long and I can't help but just, I need to talk to somebody, people who understand, uh, you know, where I'm coming from with this. You know, if I just talk to my regular friends about this, they wouldn't understand because they're not into YouTube. I, I don't even tell them about YouTube in the first place, my own YouTube. But it's just YouTube, man, YouTube. It's just, I personally feel like YouTube is all about luck. And by that, like, it's either A, you leech off, leech off of other YouTubers to gain success, B, you have complete clickbait, clickbait titles that get you millions of views, or three, you're just a really bad YouTuber who gets just really lucky with timing. The timing is a huge one, man. When it comes to my internet, Having good timing with a video is never gonna happen. It will never happen. I, oh, uh, what is this? What did I want to talk about? That's right. The reason why I'm starting this is based on something I saw today where someone got very lucky with getting, with getting successful. And obviously, you know, best of luck to this guy. I will never hate on any YouTuber, even though sometimes I personally feel that some people don't deserve it as much as others. I'm gonna keep me out of the equation for this, but there, there's this one guy I've been with since the very beginning. I, If you don't know this already, I started my YouTube channel back in 2016, which was how many years? This is four years ago, when I was just a 15, 16 year old boy which is high hopes of, you know, becoming successful on YouTube, making that my job, having a fan base. This guy, this guy named Sauce Eddie, which by the way, he is very successful now, has over 150,000 subscribers as he should. Very great YouTuber. He was very underrated at the time. And when I was looking at this guy and looking at others, I was like, how is he? Not better than them. Like some, I'm I'm not trying to shit on other YouTubers. This might be the somewhat drunk. I'm not drunk, but I'm I'm, I'm getting there. This is my last one. I'm not trying to go that far with this. I never do. But some people, I just they don't deserve it. Just pure honesty, they don't deserve it as much as others. So like I said, I'm gonna keep me out of this because I'm not gonna. You know, trying to boost myself up. There's obviously people who deserve way more than me. But I'm trying to give you an example without telling you the name of this person. It's just when you literally have no face cam, no commentary, it's just 15 frame per second gameplay, and you get a hundred thousand views because of timing. Because of timing of your video. And you get a hundred thousand subscribers. Y you don't deserve that as much as other people who have worked their, you know, their tails off to get where they're at. For the longest time, I was at a hundred subscribers. Four years ago, when I started, I was literally making videos for nobody besides my own couple friends who knew about it at the time. Made videos for them never really grew until last month. What am I at? I'm at 788 subscribers, I think. It's somewhere around there. And like I said, you have these people who either A, no commentary, no face cam, low FPS gameplay. Now I'm talking about all three of them together. I've seen plenty of them who have a, over 100,000 subscribers and 
no, it shouldn't be that way. B, they do have face game of commentary and decent frame per second gameplay, but they're very boring. Like, I, I don't think I'm a boring person. I don't. I feel like there's certain areas I can improve on. But some of these people, if you just saw them, I don't want to, I don't want to put any names out there. I wish I could. But their reactions, it's just, I want them to fall asleep. And here they are, 100,000 subscribers. Because they get lucky. That's all YouTube is, man. It's about luck. It, it shouldn't be that way, man. Back in the day, when 20, 2012, when YouTube was just starting out, it must have been so much easier back then. But I'm, I'm sure it's it was so much harder to actually make a video. I couldn't imagine trying to make a video back then. If we didn't have OBS, Adobe Premiere for, you know, an editing software, Photoshop, all these other, you know, editing sites, I couldn't imagine what they had to go through, but getting out there must have been so much easier back then than what it is now. I just personally feel like I just hit like a brick wall and everything just kind of stopped. When I got that massive boost of subscribers within a month, honestly that was the greatest thing in the world and I got somewhat of the fan base for that. And that's really all I've ever wanted. Like, yeah, back four years ago, the main drive was obviously fan base, but also money. But I have a full-time job. This is really just a hobby. And the only thing I want from it is just really just a fan base. If it gets successful, if it gets successful and I make money from it, cool, you know? That's awesome. But that's not really the reason why I'm on here. I'm here to make good content and just have a fan base. I want to be able to make videos for people who actually enjoy it. And I just feel like it's a brick wall and I won't progress anymore. I've, I, I've had my month of growing and then it, it will just stop. It's just gonna stop. I wish anybody the best of luck on YouTube. Don't ever think I'm trying to shit on other, on other YouTubers, because I'm, I'm not. Like I said, I just feel like some people deserve it more than others. Not saying I deserve it more than others, but there are so many others that truly deserve it compared to people who literally make an account six months ago and then overshoots your subscribers and views who are just completely boring in my opinion. This is just my own personal opinion. However you feel about another YouTuber, well, that's your own thoughts. If you enjoy them, you know, good for you. But just to me, some are just very boring. Some, some YouTubers really put in the effort. Really put in the effort to make a video. And then it gets nowhere. Now I will come back to me. I am, I'm afraid to actually do these ideas that I have in my head. Like, I have so many ideas on videos I can make, but I'm, I'm just worried if I put time and effort into it and it comes out with 40 views, you know, I feel like I just waste my time. I feel like that's gonna, that's gonna derive me of my, you know, want, my want to. Like, a lot of this energy I have is passion, but then I get this little, little hints of fuck you kind of energy not like in a sensitive way but like fuck you energy as in fuck yeah i'm gonna do this i'm gonna get a video of good hits and yeah something like that but that goes away pretty quickly and then it goes back to passion which is, is good because if i didn't have passion passionate energy i i wouldn't be here right now because like i said i started this Four years ago, even though you don't see the videos, you don't see the videos, I did this so long ago. And you won't ever see it unless I do a video reacting to my old videos. 
And back then it, w- it was pretty, what, what is that word? Inconsistent. It was really inconsistent. I never really posted that much. It was just, you know, one video one day, five days later, you might get another one. And like I said, it was just really inconsistent. And like, this is like the first time, as you know, correct, the second time that I really want, I really went full fledged on trying to create as much content as possible. Good, good content, not just make a video post, make another video post. Like I actually try to find decent games that I personally feel you, you guys would enjoy. Back then that wasn't really the case. It changed so much. The Steam games, Game Jolt, HIO, they all used to be terrible. You will be lucky to get a game, like a hit game like Finance of Freddy's. Like they were very rare to come across. And I personally, I do not feel like F- Finance of Freddy is that great of a game, but that's just my own opinion once more. But back then, when they were doing these horror games, back then when they were doing these horror games, they were just all terrible. Talk about like 10 frames per second. They were all mazes, all puzzles. That's not fun. Like, what people are creating nowadays is really changing the game, in my own opinion. And I feel like if they keep doing this, the gaming community is gonna become much more oversaturated than already is. Talking about the YouTube gaming community. You know, which isn't a bad thing, it's drawing appeal. It's drawing appeal. People love it. I love it. You guys love it. Just hope that it continues. Alright, so I, th- I think I'm gonna end this off. I'm getting very tired. Very, very, very tired. I hope you guys enjoyed this shock powwow. If you enjoyed this, make sure to drop a like, make sure to draw a description, make sure to share with all your hands and biscuits, and maybe I will see you in another shock powwow. Goodbye.